Hello folks. Today we have a special treat today. This is a 52 inch Emerson Premium Series ceiling fan from July of 1981. This is a later model of this fan because it is actually called the Premium and not the Casablanca Classic as it originally was supposed to be called. It's a K55 original genuine Emerson light kit and it is an all antique brass, which is pretty cool. You don't seem to find these as much as like the white, the white and brass ones or the brown and brass ones. So this one's definitely a neat find. And to get it in the original box is all the better. Like I said, there's the premium name tag on there. For those that don't know, um, when this fan first came out, it was called the Casablanca Classic. Um, I don't know the exact details of this story, so I'm just going to wing it. And if I'm wrong, let me know. Since this was called the Casablanca Classic, the new at the time Casablanca Fan Company was not too thrilled about Emerson using their name to name their fans. So um, I'm not sure if there was a lawsuit or not, but I do know that there was some sort of agreement wherein Emerson was told not to use the Casablanca name tag and in return Emerson would provide K55s for Casablanca Fan Company. So in my opinion that sounds like a win-win operation to me. So. It is a later fan, but I'm still very excited to have it. It's very cool. Again, ant all solid antique brass doesn't turn up that often, so very thrilled with that. The only thing that is not original on the fan is the center globe. The center globe is supposed to be on a two and a quarter inch fitter, like pictured here. I still have that fitter. And the center globe is supposed to be round and supposed to have a cutout on the bottom. I did not receive the center globe, unfortunately. So uh, I had to put this three inch fitter on it and put this three inch globe. Uh, it looks fine, but it's not original. I didn't have any two and a quarter inch globes to uh, go in the middle. And I didn't want to put another flower crystal, or not, a, not crystal, but frosted tulip shade in there. So. All right, that's enough talking. We'll go ahead and demonstrate the fan here. And I will be turning off the light so that way it's a little easier to see. The tassel is also not original. I did add that. Here it is on low speed. And uh, sorry for the noise in the background. That is my neighbor's car. It is currently missing a muffler, or at least it sounds like it is, so you can hear it idling. Hopefully he turns it off soon. Low speed is very aesthetic and effective. really is a stunning fan. It's also reversible. There's a reverse switch on top of the motor housing. And if you look very closely, there is a slight sway. The fan is not totally in balance, but I think I can deal with that. Let me take out the medium here. Listen closely, you can hear some motor harmonics. There is quite a, a large difference in speed from low and medium. I would prefer to have probably a slower medium speed, but this is what I got. 
really is quite an aggressive medium speed in my opinion. I was also very pleased that all the mounting bits were in here. The original hanger was in there. Um, Emerson uses quite an unusual mounting system and the bits are quite unique so I was very happy to have that present as well. High speed is just a very fast speed. It's very powerful. As you can clearly see, there's a slight wobble, but again, it's not a huge deal. I'm not too concerned about it. And if you listen closely, there is a slight mo uh, running mode, which is pretty cool. Alright, now we'll go ahead and shut her off and let it coast. And there is quite a bit of a jolt when you uh, turn it on and off. It's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of an original. Leave the light on for the spin down. Really is a cool fan. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Uh, the guy I bought it off of was actually a an older gentleman, he was a retired electrician, and he bought the fan new, and he spent quite a pretty penny on it. Part of him really didn't want to sell it, but he was certainly thrilled with the fact that I knew what it was and that I, uh, that I was going to install and use it. So I guess that eased his uh, remorse a little bit when he told me he didn't really want to sell it. But I kept reassuring him that it was going to a good home, and it sure did. This one's definitely sticking around in the living room for quite some time, which is really what's nice in here. As you can see, the bearings are still in phenomenal condition because it's taken forever to stop. We always, we always love to see that. There you have it, folks. There's your 52-inch Emerson Premium Series slash Casablanca Classic, if you want to call it that, because technically that's what it is. So I thank you for watching, and tune in next time.